Sometimes I sit and think with dreams A friend to come and I'm those who go Through all the times, the good and the bad I want you Pacific Coast League started in 1903. It pretty much stabilized at eight teams. Bill Lane bought the Salt Lake City team. The team was not drawing well there, so Lane in 1925 moved his team to Los Angeles. They called them the Hollywood Stars, but they really were a Los Angeles team. But by 1935, they went into the cellar. The San Francisco Missions were in a similar situation. They were not drawing well. They wanted to come to San Diego. Out of the blue, Bill Lane came down and stole San Diego, in effect, from the missions. People thought Lane was crazy to come here in the first place because San Diego didn't even have a ballpark that could, could house them. I'll tell you how big a deal it was. The headlines of the San Diego paper, King Edward of England had abdicated his crown. The second headline was about riots in Alcatraz. The third headline was Hollywood stars moving to San Diego. Once the deal was made and once the ballpark went up, the Padres were an instant success. When Lane Field was built, they did it in two months and it cost anywhere from twenty to $25,000. Home plate would be roughly Broadway and Harbor Drive. The right field line ran parallel to Broadway. The left field line ran parallel to Harbor Drive. The wind comes off the bay, blows across Harbor Drive. So the Padres always had a lot of power hitters that were left-handed, and they'd get the ball up in the air, and the wind would carry it out over the right field uh, wall. The old lane field, <laughs> yeah. that was a tough park to pitch in. Especially the left-handers. Yeah, we used to walk to the ballpark. It was so close to the, to the bay down there and everything. The wind came in from the beach and it would blow towards right field. So as a right-handed hitter, I'd hit a club ball and I would think it'd be a home run, but the wind would hold it up and the left field would catch it. But going to right field, uh, the wind would help those balls go over that right field fence. That was interesting. The stands are right there, just behind just behind the dugout. The fans were terrific because they were, they were so close. Gosh, they were real close. The box seats were practically on the field. The sailors would, would come to Lane Field, and among other things, uh, it was the, the biggest bar in town. All these guys in uniform, they were very vocal. They, 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 were there, they went to the ball game to have a good time. Last month or so, we only had six pitchers, and we won the pennant with six pitchers. <laughs> you got a two days rest when you pitch, that was it. Sometimes one day rest, and we had a full house. The people were, they roped off the outfield, had people in the outfield. Boy, that was a joke for the hitters. Gee, but Bob Kerrigan pitched that game. Pitched a good game, we won 72 and Bob Elliott hit two homers that they were all over the crowd in the seats. For the city of San Diego to win a championship, there was a parade that went down Broadway. You know, I, I can still remember 1954 Ford convertibles going down Broadway. And the street was lined. I mean, it was, it was like VJ Day. This was a big celebration. These guys were heroes. And fortunately, uh, we were always in the running for the pennant when I was there, and that made it interesting. Lane wanted to change the name from Stars. To, he didn't know what. They had a contest in the newspaper. Several people uh, submitted the name Padres. The Padres, I think, is a perfect name for a San Diego team. Lane was making money by developing players and selling them. 
Starr was willing to take a chance on black ball players and on Mexican ball players. I think that Bill Starr deserves credit for that. It was just one step below the big leagues and the competition was very good. Luke Easter came after that, Artie Wilson, Minnie Minoso, Sad Sam Jones, Suitcase Simpson. I mean, they came from all over America. They'd never heard of San Diego. What a great town this is. Luke Easter? Oh yeah, the big guy. <laughs> he could hit the ball nine miles. He hit one in Hollywood. It was 400 feet to center field, and the fence was about at least 20 feet high. And then he had the flagpole was another 20 feet. And that ball went over the flagpole. <laughs> Gee, that's one of the longest balls I've ever seen hit. I think the romance of the Lane Field Padres was that they were the original ones, that Ted Williams played on the team, the location of the ballpark, that it was the team from when San Diego was a small town until it became a city. The PCL Padres at Lane Field reflected San Diego, I think, very well. And they were, they were beloved. Which I must reply 